We spent $300 on food that was not good. And then we went to Miami Vibes, which was really nice. Of course, we had to pay to get into the club. Then we had drinks. And so that was another $200. Got Waffle House. That was like 30 bucks. Got gas. And so approximately in a day and a half, approximately, y'all. I sound real. You know what I'm saying? Spent $700. Like, what? Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia Danielle. You can call me Amelia, you can call me D, whatever you wanna call me, whatever is fine with me. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a lot of things to do because guess what? My birthday is tomorrow, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, and I want to get my brows waxed. Um, I'm going to get my makeup done, come back, take some pictures. We are going out to do some things. And as I was talking about all this money that we spend, like getting food, food that's not good, having a good time. I mean, it's okay to do it every now and then. I feel like the last time me and my husband went out, it was in January for New Year's and we went to Savannah and we didn't even really spend that much in Savannah, but just overall we find and make excuses for doing things and spending money. And then on the back end, we'd be like, dang, we spent how much money? that five six hundred dollars that we spent in Augusta Georgia could have went to our Tulum trip because we still owe on that like we not even prioritizing certain things you know what I'm saying so we supposed to go to Tulum in June and we still have to pay on that but I say all of that to say that I am older I'm getting wiser I'm starting to like consider and think about a lot of things learn from my mistakes do things based off of my experiences and I'm gonna just try to overall be smart about the things and the decisions that I am making in my life. So today I have a full agenda. I do want to go to Target because I want to see about getting a rose Lego set. I love roses and so I plan on going to see if they have that in stock. I already looked online and they do have it and so I'm going to show it to y'all and then I'm going to build it, put it together. That's something I want to do and buy for myself for my birthday and then guess what? I did my nails. These are press-ons y'all. Press-on nails that I did yesterday after I got off work because yesterday it was Friday um I did like a mini manicure I cleaned up my cuticles I filed them wiped them down with some you know nail polish remover and added my glue and my press on nails and they came out really really cute I'm trying to cut back on spending just going to the nail shop and then rushing to do my nails is not where it's at getting a fill-in is just like getting me getting a full set like a fill-in is $50 and I always leave a tip a full set is 75 and so I was like you know what I need to start doing my own nails I got these from Amazon and if you like them I will link them down below if you plan on purchasing the same press on nails they came out it's really really good I feel like they are too short but I have long fingers and long nail beds and so I'm I'm loving them you know keeping it simple because I don't know how to operate with long nails anyway I got a retwist last Thursday so my hair is looking really nice and fresh I went and got my what seventh session of laser hair treatment and I have graduated from um, getting my underarms done I'm still you know on some treatments for my Brazilian area because I have noticed that those hairs have grown back but I have been catering to making myself happy doing things for me self-care is what you call it and so if y'all are interested in watching my video and seeing what I do for my birthday and I'm gonna show y'all the gifts that I got then make sure y'all keep watching one thing I will not be doing even though a Cinco de Mayo is drinking if I have a drink it's gonna be non-alcoholic y'all and so y'all make sure y'all click on that subscribe button like this video and if you have any questions leave them down below and I will show y'all like my makeup look and I will show y'all the rose Lego set that I get and I will try to vlog and show y'all some of the things that I am doing for my birthday and so without further ado we'll go ahead and get started so make sure you watch this video to the end Oh, 
Hey y'all, so I made it back home. I went to Sassy's to try to get my eyebrows waxed. I got there around 10.30 and they were so crowded. Everyone was in a pedicure chair. Everyone was in a chair getting their nails done. And then there were like three or four ladies sitting in chairs waiting to be seated. I went in and I'm like, hey, how long um, do I have to wait just to get my eyebrows? And they said, well, there are people ahead of you, so it's gonna be a while. And so I basically left. I did not get to get my brows waxed, but I still was able to get my makeup done. And this is what my makeup is looking like. I kept it really simple, really basic. I didn't do any eyeshadow, any lashes, because for one, I can't function with lashes on. I'll wipe my eye accidentally and then I'll end up you know because it'll be a, it'll end up being like a strip lash not like individual lash lashes or whatever so I always have a hard time with lashes and so I did not get lashes but I did run to Target and pick up my Lego set that I wanted to get that I will be putting together a little later me and my husband we are about to head out here shortly I'm gonna show y'all the front and the back just so y'all can get an idea of what it is so this is the front this is the back of the box side the front and the other side and so when we come back I'm gonna start putting this together because I want to have it completed by my birthday which is tomorrow Sunday May 5th if I don't come back home and complete it today I will make sure I do it tomorrow because I just want to mentally like enjoy doing something that will have me thinking and trying to figure out something and so I got it because of that and I also got it because I love roses I went to the morning jump before um, I went to go get my brows done and they have this new honey bee latte. I got mine with coconut milk, ice, and it is really, really good. And then I also will be rocking my Lorde shades, which I have showed in a previous video. So if you have not seen that video, go check it out and you can see like the full unboxing of it. But I will be rocking my shades today and I will have like my two strand twist hanging to the side and i have my ponytail in the back i also have my denim fashion made me do it purse that i got from house of rehab i got on a denim shirt and some denim jeans with some blazers on and so if you want to see the full fit go to my instagram at amelia g5587 i will go downstairs and try to insert a clip of my outfit right after this but i have some things that i want to do today me and my husband will be leaving shortly and so please continue to watch this video let me know what y'all think about the shades and let me know what y'all think about my makeup i did not uh get the same girl that i usually go to which is megan and so this girl She's not really used to doing my makeup, but I feel like since it was kind of simple and basic, I was like, I'm not going to complain. It is what it is. It still turned out nice. I have my two nose rings in and I have like just some basic earrings in. So I wanted to keep it simple. I don't know. This birthday seems kind of uh, like different. I'm trying not to stress. I'm trying not to worry about anything. I'm trying to make sure I don't spend a lot of money and still be able to enjoy myself by being smart and doing smart things. And so uh, that's pretty much it. I'll go ahead and continue vlogging and talk to y'all after just to let y'all know like what I did. Hey y'all, so I am trying to show y'all my outfit before we head out. My sneakers came from Snipes in the mall. They were like 30 bucks, they were on sale. My pants came from Fashion Nova in the size of a seven, tall girl friendly. My shirt came from Fashion Nova, size large is denim. My purse came from House of Rehab. Fashion Made Me Do It is denim also. My press on nails came from Amazon, of course, and my shades came from Laura Bay. And this is pretty much my outfit and what I will be wearing today. I'm keeping it really simple, really basic. I didn't want to get dressed up. I just did not want to have on a dress or have like on... I just didn't want to get dressed up. I don't know what it is, y'all, but this is pretty much my outfit for today, and I will link everything down below if y'all are inspired or if you are tall. I am 5'11", I weigh 175, and so um, my pants are seven. They're high-waisted, really comfortable. I have on a white undershirt, and it came from Walmart. It was like three bucks. I feel like I'm gonna go get some more because they're really comfortable and stretch material. Um, I always wear denim, and I always buy my denim shirts and jackets and stuff from Fashion Nova because they just the quality is really good this purse loved it I had to get it I will link this down below not sure if she has sold out 
I'm sorry y'all y'all see my banister or like my chair I had to move it out of the video I'm sorry and of course y'all see my Lord Bay shades again I will link my previous video of the unboxing of these shades on um or in the description box if you are interested I'm not sure if she sold out but they are really really cute I am loving them at this point I have what three or four pair of Lord Bay shades no issues the packaging is always nice and very durable and they all come with their own eyeglass case and so yeah this is my outfit for today but I hope I was able to inspire you all based off my tall girl fit even if you are not tall you can still rock some of the same items that I have especially like these press-on nails press-on nails from Amazon that say shipping is where it's at um and the nail shop was really 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 busy and so that's what I was saying like they just rush and do everything so fast when it pertains to you like getting your nails done these days and so I would just rather do them at home and be mad at myself and not pay as much and so we'll go ahead and head out and finish with this video. Hey y'all, what's up? So today is May 5th, it's my birthday. Me and Jaden came to the gym and I wanted to show y'all some of the things that I keep in my gym bag. Of course, I have a jump rope. This jump rope keeps track of how many jumps you do and your calories, your uh, weight that you can input and the time that it takes you to jump however many jumps you do. So today I did 507 jumps in seven minutes, in three minutes and 58 seconds, and I burned 164 calories. I was a little exhausted today because I ran two miles at seven speed and I usually don't do seven speed. And so I was tired. I usually do like a thousand, two thousand jumps. I have my little like makeup bag in here with some Tic Tats, chapstick and lip gloss. Once I get finished before I leave the gym, I have some gel to put on the side of my hair, lotion up of course hand sanitizer um, smell good uh, spray and roll on I have my airpods which are on my head I have some deodorant we cannot leave the house without having deodorant I put it on before I leave the house of course and after I get finished I have a shirt to change in afterward my sweatpants are in my locker and I have some more smell good of course I have my Stanley cup and I have my things like my shirt and not in that one, but I think it's the next one over. My um, change of shirt and my sweatpants for after we leave the gym. And of course I have my phone. We are going to the Waffle House after to eat. And I'm going to finish my puzzle that I did, um, that I started on yesterday. I spent an hour on it and so um, it's like 882 pieces. My husband said he don't feel like um, I might be able to finish it today because it's a lot of pieces. Also, y'all, I'm rambling on, but I have some more spray in here and lotion. You cannot be ashy when you come to the gym, y'all. But I'm gonna try to finish that today. I'm gonna show y'all um, how it looks. I'm gonna try. Say I try. I am going to try. I'm not gonna make no promises on if I will be finished with the rose. Right above the bed, y'all. So y'all might not be able to hear me. I'll make sure I turn the volume up. But I started building my rose Lego set yesterday. I spent an hour and a half on it. I finished four roses. And so I am going to try to finish it today. It's 800 and something pieces. I try. I am going to try to finish that. But this is my gym workout. 
outfit I have on some Nike running shoes some Nike socks and a two-piece workout set that I got from Amazon I was sweating pretty bad because I was running on the treadmill me and Jaden are going to the Waffle House I'm gonna show y'all what I got from the mall yesterday we went to Durham and close out this vlog because I don't really have too much planned for my birthday honestly I just want to relax chill and catch up on snowfall and it is Sunday I don't plan on drinking but I may go to the Mexican restaurant down the road from my house and get like a non-alcoholic drink and get ready for work tomorrow because tomorrow is Monday, May the 6th. But overall, I had a great day yesterday and I am having a great day so far. It's Cinco de Mayo. Y'all make sure y'all celebrate. If y'all want to cash at me, my cash app is Amelia Fullwood. I will link it or put it right here on the screen. And if y'all want to donate to giving me to get my coffee because y'all know I love the morning jump but if and just in general if you want to donate because it is my birthday my cash app will be listed on the screen and I will put it down below you're not obligated don't feel bad it's okay I understand I just figured I asked um, but we'll go ahead and get finished my, with my workout and I'm also going to go in the sauna for like 10 minutes and then we are going to head out go to Waffle House you know shower of course and then I will come show y'all what I got from the mall yesterday on the back end and so let's go ahead and finish this video.